what was you thinking going into this match? What were you thinking? Keep him on his knees for a while so he can not come back. The five star kid just attacked hardcore Hayden. What is going on? Why is this happening? Oh, and a super kick taking Hayden down. It looks like he's tearing off a piece. The five star kid tearing off a piece of that, that air conditioning unit framing. That's what it looks like he has in his hand. What is he going to do with that? Oh no, not like this. No, no, no. And the five star kid just hit hardcore Hayden in the head with that piece of air conditioning unit. And now he's beating him all across the back and the lower back of hardcore Hayden. Now he's using it on his head. What is going to happen? And another shot and a five star cutter from the five star kid Hayden a bloody mess after that attack last time tonight we will hear a response from five star kid on the attack of hardcore Hayden Welcome back to Fever Pitch, right here on the CWA YouTube page and on Facebook. Now we go to the Five Star Kid coming to the ring. Now entering, standing at five foot seven inches tall, weighing. 155 pounds, the five star kid. Hey, we're my face. And as we've seen last night, mic. very bad things happen to hardcore head. Now, let's just hear about this from the five star kid. So, I'm sure everybody is wondering what happened last time. Why? Why would I attack a rookie? Why would I attack a debut? competitor here in the CWA. I've accomplished so much. What is this going to gain from me? Respect. It's all about respect in our organization. It's all about respect in our business. And he disrespected me twice in that same night. First time, before I even get into this, let me just say, uh, I was a fan of Hayden's. All right. I mentioned him. I had him on the radio show three times within the past six episodes that have been released. I considered him a friend of mine. And then I go to shake his hand to say good luck on the match. And what does he do? Let's see. What does he do? He tells me that he's going to be the one to win. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. He's going to be the one to beat the five-time world champion. The two-time global champion, the one-time international champion, the first Grand Slam champion ever. He's going to beat me. The guy who held the world championship for three years straight without losing it, defending the title each week. He's going to beat me. <laughs> disrespect. That's what that was. The next thing was just as disrespectful, if not more. By asking me a simple question, he sealed his fate. You understand? By asking one simple question, he sealed his fate. He asked me, do I think I'm better than him? Do I think I am better than him? I know I am better than him. I told him I was better than him since before he was conceived. I've been wrestling since I was nine years old, 1999, on trampolines all around Hot Springs, Arkansas. I know I am better than him. But he didn't know how to keep his mouth shut. And he didn't know what was going to happen to him. Well, I guess he found out. 
two shots to the head with a piece of framing from an air conditioning unit in the locker room last week. A busted up dome, hurt, down, a five star cutter, a super kick, and then a few well placed, well needed, and well deserved stomps. I don't know that I can earn his respect. Hell, I don't even know if I want to earn his respect. But I could damn sure beat it out of him like I did last time. I put him out of business. I took him out of the game. I ended him. And if he faces me again, I'll cut him short again. And that is a five-star guarantee. And there is, oh my gosh, do you see what I see? Look there. It is hardcore Hayden. He is standing in the entranceway. The five-star kid does not see him at all. And what is it? Oh, my gosh, Spear! Spear! Hardcore Hayden just did five-star kid with a spear. And the five-star kid is writhing in pain. You were right last week, but we never had our match. So why don't we have our match right now? And he said, let's finish, let's have that match right now. He's right last week. There was supposed to be a match between the two. This is a much needed match right here. Hardcore Hayden, five-star kid, getting it on in the CWA fever pitch action. I am so happy to be able to see this right now. Five-star kid outside the ring. Hardcore Hayden on the inside of the ring. And then Hardcore Hayden just saying to bring it. Five-star kid actually looks like he's cowering down a little bit. Oh, and a solid right hook to the face. Right to the jaw of the five-star kid. Hardcore Hayden. Happy Giddy with Glee getting to go after the guy who busted his head open last week. You can see the smile on his face. And the five-star kid still cowering down. This is unusual seeing him do this. But it's definitely not unwarranted. He did something terrible to Hardcore Hayden last week whenever he took that piece of that framing and it busted him open. And now the five-star kid is getting payback. And Hayden's coming up to five-star kid right now. What is he going to do? A knee to the stomach first. And then he grabs the back of five-star kid's head and smashes it right into that barricade with the CWA wrestling banner on it. Hardcore Hayden getting five-star kid, tossing him inside of the ring. And he's looking at him. He's lining him up for something. Setting him up for something it looks like. Getting ready. Possibly a Superman punch. By the way, he's grabbing his fist there. He's backing out of the ring. Maybe not. He's telling him to get up. He's telling get him to up. bring it on. Come on, get up. Five-star kid in a haze after getting his head smashed off of that barricade. A little bit woozy of sorts. And as, as would anybody be. And it looks like Hardcore Hayden with a spear. Another spear, the second of the match so far. And it looks like the first pin is here. One, two, three. And a kick out right at two. That's a long two actually there. A spear, a finishing maneuver of Hardcore Hayden's. But it's going to take more than that to put away the five-star kid. Like he said, he's a five-time world champion, a two-time global champion, a one-time international champion. Those, those collective titles being held made him the first ever Grand Slam champion, meaning he held every championship the company had to offer. And Hardcore Hayden looks like he's looking for something off of those stairs leading up to the ring. And Five Star Kid's begging. Oh, a drop kick right to the chin of the Five Star Kid. Now we're seeing a little bit different maneuvers from Hardcore Hayden in this matchup. That drop kick is a new one that we have not yet seen from him. This being his second official match in the CWA. And a little bit of trash talking as he's picking the Five Star Kid up. What is this? What is he doing right now? Looks like a German no, suplex. No, no, no. This being the move we saw last time in his matchup against the Gremlin. No. 
where he uh, came out on top. Gremlin's still in bad condition. And the pummeling the five-star kid. Right punches to the face. Rights and lefts. Five-star kid earlier, a little bit earlier, took a pretty rough shot to the face. Now, all these, plus that drop kick to the draw, you got to wonder... How much? How many more shots to the head can the five-star kid actually take in this match? Get up. Looks like Hayden's getting the five-star kid up. DDT! Oh my gosh! That was a spike DDT right there. The kid, like like I said, how much more can he take to the head? Five-star kid's got to be hurting after this. The shot over on the barricade. That DDT, a drop kick, those punches to the face. I mean, what, what is, what, what's it gonna take to keep the five star kid down in this match? In some sick way, I guess he wants to show more punishment to head. Oh, a Superman punch! Another shot, straight to the head. Hardcore Hayden dealing damage to the head of the five star kid. <laughs> So much. So, uh, I'm just wondering how he's going to come out of this without a concussion uh, uh, of any kind. It's a very confusing no, notion right here. Get up! And we're looking a little bit of trash talking. Hayden. Oh, and a low blow by the five star kid. Five star kid is not afraid to use low tactics to win the match if he has to. We've seen that recently in an attack. And now he's just viciously stomping hardcore Hayden in the ground. Picking Hayden up. He's got an arm ringer on him right here. And a pulling clothesline, short arm clothesline. Arm ringer to a clothesline right there. The five star kid just uh, clotheslining Hayden straight to the mat. You can hear the five star kid running in pain while he's walking around as he's talking. A running drop kick right to the face of Hardcore Hayden. Hardcore Hayden down on the outside up by that. Uh, same and some taunting from the five star kid up by that same banner uh, barricade where the five star kid's head was smashed into it. And the five star kid vicious onslaught we seen starting last week continuing in this match. And, oh my gosh! A boot right to the side of the head, right, right in the jaw. The whole side of Hardcore Aiden's face must be in pain. And the five-star kid over there talking more trash to him as he punches him in the face, getting him up. It looks like, what is the five-star kid going to do next? What kind of punishment is he going to dish out? A couple punches to the ribs, a knee to the stomach, and then, oh, smashes Hayden's face in it. What is going on in the five-star kid's head for him to be acting this way? Oh, and a kick to the stomach. I, I suppose he feels that there's, there's disrespect from Hardcore Hayden in, in what he said, but Hardcore Hayden, I believe personally, was just saying, looks like the five-star kid. Oh my gosh, a, a folding, folding back suplex on Hardcore Hayden right there. What is the five-star kid doing here? But as I was saying, I, I think Hardcore Hayden was just stating that he feels he'll win the match, just as any other competitor would. And the five-star kid pulling a Chris Benoit, putting the crippler cross face on Hardcore Hayden. Hardcore Hayden screaming in pain, rolling backwards out of the ring, releasing the hold. I believe that Hardcore Hayden was just as any other competitor would have said, just as the Gremlin or the Hybrid or any other competitor would have said, they, they he feels that he will win. He throws the, hard, uh, the five star kid back in the ring and the five star kid took offense to this. Um, what are, what, what I, I feel this is something uncalled for. The five-star kid shouldn't have done what he did. There wasn't a reason for it. It was just Hardcore Hayden being confident in his abilities. I, I don't believe that there was an ounce of disrespect. And what is, what is he doing right now? He's walking out of the ring, trying to leave. Oh, and a Superman punch. 
stops him from leaving this match. Looked like the five-star kid was trying to walk out of the match. And Hardcore Hayden just not allowing it. Hayden throws the kid into the ring. Get up! And he looks like he's lining him up for a spear once again. What's going to happen next? It, it could it could end this match. If Hayden hits this, this match is over. I'm telling you right now. Kid can't take much more. Oh, and he countered the spear with a five-star cutter. How did he do that? That was, that was a move meant to hit the lower body of the five-star kid. Just lowered his adjustment. Two, and Hayden kicks out. After a long two count, and that was a five-star cutter, and the five-star kid throwing a temper tantrum on the outside of the ring. Hardcore Hayden, that bull going for a spear, meant for the lower body, the diaphragm of the five-star kid, the stomach area, rib, dom abdominal area, you know, of the five-star kid that's where the spears meant and the five-star kid lowered adjusted his cutter to a lower level to hit that and now the five-star kid is punching Hayden in the face I, I seriously thought that hardcore Hayden had the match won right there just then and it looks like he's setting up looks like he's trying to set up hardcore Hayden for a super kick that's what it looked like for a second a knee to the stomach puts Hayden on the ground. Five Star Kid looks around, looks at Hayden, staring menacingly at him as he throws a couple of stomps and a kick. There's a kick to the back. Five Star Kid takes him, slams his head right into those entrance stairs, and Hayden's on the outside of the ring down on the ground. And it looks like he's lining him up saying, it's time right now. And it could be time for what he was looking for a little bit earlier, signaling for a super kick. And he's going super kick. Nope. Hayden ducks under. And a spear puts Five Star Kid rolling him out to the outside of the ring. Puts him down. And he is done. There's no way he's getting out of this. There is no way in hell the Five Star Kid can get up. Hayden tosses him in the ring. It's done. We're looking to see it right here. What? One, two. two, and the five-star kid somehow miraculously kicks out. Hayden, in two. awe, stands up, yeah. just staring at the five-star kid ah. for a second, and it looks like he may be trying to line him up for it once again. Another spear, it looks like Hayden. No, maybe not. He's at, uh, it looks like he's walking around to the side of the kid's at. Oh, and a punch to the face of ha Hardcore Hayden by the five-star kid. A knee to the stomach. Now Hardcore Hayden's on the ground once again. The five-star kid may be trying to line him up for another because he didn't get that five-star yeah. cutter off clean. That one, it was a, a counter to a spear. And he got it right there. Five-star cutter from the five-star kid. Is he going to win and assert dominance and, and doing what he said what? he would do? Two. Hayden kicks out of a five-star cutter, a clean one, and the five-star no. kid in disbelief, throwing another temper tantrum, throwing wild punches at Hayden. Gets up and he stomps him. He takes that left leg, it looks like, puts it on the ground, and oh, stomps the ankle, and he stomps the ankle once again of hardcore Hayden on the outside of the ring. Um, uh, What is... What's... What's it going to take to keep either of these two guys down? A kick to the leg and a punch to the, looks like, punch to the shoulder from what looks like kid, Five Star Kid got up holding, trying to rotate his shoulder. They've got punched in his shoulder by that wild right throw. And a suplex from the Five Star Kid to Hardcore right. Hayden stomping right. him. And, and a little bit more of that arrogance from Five Star Kid kicking into the back of the head. That is that is you one know, arrogant I'm the man right there. A, a guy who believes he is the gift, the the perfect, the perfect. Oh, oh and a spear from Hardcore Hayden on the Five Star Kid. If nothing, if any, if this doesn't do it, nothing will. Is the Five Star Kid gonna kick out of this one? Is Hardcore Hayden gonna win? But is it? Let's see right here is a pin. One, One two, two, three. 
see Hardcore Hayden wins. He picks up that victory after the attack last time on Fever Pitch. Revenge is sweet, and Hardcore Hayden defeats the five-star kid in a long-awaited match. Hardcore Hayden with that victory right there. Congratulations to you, Hayden. What's going to happen next on Fever Pitch? You'll just have to stay tuned to find out.